You still got really hot dog? Okay, good, good. Because my cousin, maybe he'll get hungry and I want to keep all my bases covered in this, huh? Hey, is that your caddy? From Ontario. Right on. Not me. Oh, you, eh? Probably from nearby, probably from. But you have a car, right? No. Which one? Just? Not here, not here. In the parking lot. Yeah, but in the parking lot, right? In the parking lot. I know. You know, one of the things I love about these caddies in these years, these Eldorados, was these. These, uh, these painted hubcaps, and they had often the wide white wall tires, they were just beautiful. As many cars I film, unfortunately the front end is not in the sun whatsoever, it might as well be high noon right now. Well, uh, whatever, on the other side, look at the size of that massive hood containing the, at the time, which was the largest production V8 motor ever made of 500 cubic inches, which is 8.2 liters. And if you're driving this, do not expect to get anywhere near 20 miles per gallon. In the city, you'll probably get like eight or seven. So basically, uh, you own one of these, you better have uh, some deep pockets or a lot of credit. You know? Is it a 76? 75? Oh, I can't see. It's a... Uh, Oh fuck, I can't see it, I don't know. Look at that. It's a Camaro, don't touch the car. Look at the original, the seats are, look at the wear you can see on that. Beautiful. Hey mister, monsieur. Since 75, 76, huh? Very nice, very nice. It's fun to walk the interior, que tout original comme ça. Uh, I'm talking with the uh, owner here, and he's telling me the car got 130,000 clicks on it. That's miles, by the way, because cars didn't get kilometers on the odometer in Canada until '78. He says to me that the white piping that was optional, and I thought it caught my eye. I thought it was unusual, actually. Yeah, very cool stuff. Is that a Canadian car or American? They were, all as, they were all built in this state. Yeah, you're right. You see, the man knows this stuff. There's nothing worse when you talk to a classic car. A guy who owns a classic car and doesn't know anything about it. Those are, people are usually known as posers. Something's odd, though, over here, though. I just noticed your door is not even with the fender. I'm wondering if that's... What? Actually, you know what that is? That's typical, unfortunately, the 70s. As much as I love all these barges, often, a lot of times, the doors didn't align with the rest of the body. That was a 70s thing, you know? They had so many problems trying to keep cars to be you know, less polluting, they had to be safer, and uh, yeah. But that's, what do you want with how much they weigh, you know? 